Born Princess Alex of Hesse and Bayreuth, Alexandra Fedorovna was the last Tsarina of Russia as the wife of Tsar Nicholas II. Tragedy followed her throughout life and she lost her life at the hands of the Bolsheviks in 1918. But did you know that she had several siblings? This two-part series will focus on the lives of those siblings, with this part focusing on her brothers. Ernst Louis, Grand Duke of Hesse and Bayreuth, was born on the 25th of November 1868 in Darmstadt. Ernst Louis and his siblings received a strict education and were encouraged to be humble. They lived modestly, doing their own chores, and their mother sewed their clothes for them. Their mother spoke to them in English and their father in German, which helped them to become fluent in both languages. In 1878, members of Ernst Louis's immediate family, including Ernst Louis himself, fell ill with diphtheria. On the 16th of November 1878, Ernst Louis's youngest sibling, Marie, died. His mother did not tell her children until early December, once they were starting to recover. When she told Ernst Louis, he was overcome with immense grief, and to console him, Alice kissed his forehead. Alice fell ill from this, contracting diphtheria herself, and she passed away on the 14th of December, 1878. Ernst Louis and his siblings would spend the subsequent years under the supervision of their maternal grandmother, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. The Queen became close to her Hessian grandchildren, becoming a sort of mother to them. Ernst Louis's older sisters also helped to contribute to his upbringing, and he remained close to his two eldest sisters, Victoria and Elizabeth. In 1885, Ernst Louis began serving with the 1st Hessian Infantry Regiment as a sub-lieutenant, becoming a 1st Lieutenant in 1889. Following this, he attended the University of Leipzig and the University of Giessen. Following his father's example, in 1891, Ernst Louis was attached to the 1st Prussian Regiment of Foot Guards at Potsdam. The following year, his father passed away and Ernst Louis became the Grand Duke of Hesse and Bayreuth. Having grown up seeing her often and after being encouraged by Queen Victoria, Ernst Louis and Princess Victoria Melita of Saxe Coburg and Gotha got married on the 9th of April 1894. Their marriage turned out to be an unhappy one as they shared little in common and grew to resent each other. They had two children together, Elizabeth and a stillborn son. They wanted to divorce but Queen Victoria was against this. Following Queen Victoria's death in January 1901, they separated and were divorced by December 1901. Following the wedding of his niece, Princess Alice of Battenberg, in October 1903, Prince and his daughter went to visit the Russian imperial family at their hunting lodge in Poland. While there, Elizabeth fell ill and she quickly deteriorated. A telegram was sent to her mother to come quickly but the telegram would arrive too late. Elizabeth died on the 16th of November, 1903, the same day as her aunt had died 25 years previous. Rumors started circulating that she had been poisoned by eating something which was intended for Nicholas II, but it was proven to have been typhoid which caused Elizabeth's death. Ernst Louis was distraught. His daughter had been the sunshine of his life. Ernst Louis would later marry Princess Eleanor of Psalms Hohen Psalms Lick on the 2nd of February 1905. They had a very happy marriage and had two sons together, George and Louis. During the First World War, Ernst Louis was on the opposite side of the war from his siblings. During the war, Ernst Louis served as a general of the infantry at Kaiser Wilhelm II's headquarters. Two of his sisters, Elizabeth and Alex, were killed by the Bolsheviks in 1918, which devastated all their remaining siblings. The Hessian siblings had been very close to each other. Though their marriages and the war had separated them, they still cared deeply about each other. 
A few months later, Ernst Libby lost his grand ducal throne on the 9th of November 1918, which he had refused to give up. Unlike many of his German counterparts, he was allowed to stay in Hesse and keep several of his properties. Life after the war was mostly peaceful for Ernst Louis. He passed away on the 9th of October 1937 from lung cancer. A month later, Eleanor, George, his daughter-in-law and grandniece Cecily and his grandsons Louis and Alexander died in a plane crash on the 16th of November 1937 the same day that his sister Marie had died in 1878 and his daughter Elizabeth had died in 1903. Prince Friedrich of Hesse and my Rhine was born on the 7th of October 1870 at the new palace in Darmstadt. Friedrich was a cheerful and lively child and he was his mother's favourite son. Following a cut to his ear in February 1873, Friedrich was diagnosed with haemophilia. This came as a shock to the royal families throughout Europe. Friedrich was the first descendant of Queen Victoria since Prince Leopold, one of Queen Victoria's sons, to be born with haemophilia. It indicated that the bleeding disorder was hereditary. Only three months later, in May 1873, Friedrich and Ernst Louis were playing in their mother's bedroom in the new palace. Ernst Louis went into another room to look through the window, and his mother went into another room to get Ernst Louis. Friedrich was still in the other room, and climbed up onto a chair to look out the window to see Ernst Louis. The chair tipped, and Friedrich fell out the window to the ground below. Friedrich survived the fall and might have lived had he not had haemophilia. He died hours later on the 29th of May 1873 from a brain hemorrhage. For years after Friedrich's death, his distraught mother often prayed at his grave and marked anniversaries of the small events in his life.